من وقتی نه سالم بود یعنی از اون وقتی خودم شناختم پیدا کردم دیدم که خیلی در گیتار علاقه دارم اما ایران بودم شرایطش نبود که من گیتار داشته باشم و استفاده کنم و بزنم و بعد از اونم که افغانستان آمدم کلا اصلا هم یک ذره شرایطی هم که بود اما هم از بین رفت When Alaha Nazari was 15 years old, her parents received visas to go to the U.S., but Alaha and her brother had to remain in Afghanistan. The Taliban cemented their hold on power in Afghanistan today, and they began to speak in detail about their plans for the country. Evacuations of civilians also resumed. Inside Kabul, there is fear and even panic over what the future may bring. Taliban came to us for an email from Sephardt, Khushbakhtana. که خودتان از ساعت سه شب ایمیل آمد خب پنج صبح ما ایمیل دریافت کردیم که برای ما گفته بود هیچ چیزی با خودتان نیرین همراه یک دانه کل پشتی و مدارکتان بیایید در میدان هوایی ما اینجا رسیدیم هیچ سنف انگلیسی نبود و من هم تو این ایستاگرام ما چک میکدم و اینا و در ای هارت بیت موزیک من رسیدم و مسیج دادم همون تو برشان اینا و همون پوستایشان که خوانده بود و میدیدم که مثلا اینا در کسایی که موسیقی در موسیقی علاقه دارن در اونا ساز میتن اگه بخوای اما ایل بود. Heartbeats, a Phoenix organization, was created by Riley Novak when she was only a sophomore in high school. Heartbeats is a youth-led organization dedicated to creating meaningful connections between the refugee community and our volunteers through music. I think it's really important when a refugee arrives in the U.S., we acknowledge that they weren't able to bring their instruments with them. Many of them can only bring one suitcase. And so for those refugees who were musicians in their home country, they aren't able to have that with them in the U.S. And so just knowing the emotional benefit that playing your musical instrument has as someone who is a musician, and I know the relief I get when I play my instrument, being able to bring that back to them when they're in the U.S. is really important. Heartbeats collects musical instruments from around the Phoenix area, the guitar that Alaha received was donated by Christopher Bertram, a local musician. I got in touch with Heartbeats, met Heartbeats, like one of the more down moments of my life. Music was kind of a, almost like a mindless like activity that I just kind of was going through the motions on. I know for a fact the timing of meeting Heartbeats and donating that guitar re-sparked my, my passion for music. It was very easy to part with a lot more, you know, than just that guitar, because I like the idea of welcoming people that are just coming from wherever. It was really good. I mean, I didn't have a guitar at all that I was from. This guitar was really good for me. I mean, I felt that this place is a place where I can go. A place where I can go and I can go and 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 go. یعنی حالا که اینجا رسیدم من مطمئنم که میخوایم رشته موسیقی را بخوانم حتما و تا جایی که بتانم کوشش میکنم که دهی بخش زیاد خوب باشه و اگه بتانم دکترای موسیقی را بگیرم در آمریکا For me music is a way of healing and more importantly it's a way of connecting with other people whether that's the refugee community whether that's with your friends to me music is the perfect way to facilitate a friendship and facilitate a meaningful relationship. خیلی حس خوب تا آزادی حسی که مثلا واقعا خودم هستم و ای که میتونم موسیقی را با بقیه شریک بسازم و خوشحال باشم ای خیلی برای من حس با ارزش و خوبیه. From PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs, this is Alexis Schmidt from Phoenix, Arizona.